Fall down 99 times, get up 100. The more emotionally attached you are to closing deals and making money in your landscaping business, getting the job is the more it's going to hurt you in the long run. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What's up? It's Keith Kelfis with the Landscaping Employee Trap and I want to talk about sales and selling. Have you ever told a customer yes that you'll do something or yes you'll do this thing for a cheaper price and then as soon as you say yes this pit it is in your stomach and you go why did I just agree to that? Now I have to eat it. Well, I have recently tried, what it is, it's your amygdala. The part of your, the fight or flight mode, the part of your brain that's broke and needy and desperate, the sick, disgusting, shameful little turd inside of you, the wuss that lets the world walk all over you because you're afraid. So, I always say you just eat it. Learn the lesson, eat it. Go through all the struggle and the hell and pain and you hate, hate, you hate that entire job. Let it be your, just fall on your sword and just let it burn you alive. You know why? Because you gave in. It was right on the line and the customer said, well, can I have this little discount? Well, you know what? If the customer is willing to go through this whole process with you of meeting you, maybe two, three times, you spending all the time to prepare a proposal and you send them the quote and you have multiple phone calls about the job and now the customer wants to hire you and you're gonna get that big job. And at the very end, right before the customer, no, the customer has already said yes. You've already done a trial close. Like they want to go ahead and get the job done, right? And now you're both, you're fully in and you're, you're invested emotionally. Your time is invested. You're already picturing yourself. You've already got it. You're going to do it Monday. And then the customer comes in and says, well, you know, can I get a discount on this thing here? Can I get a discount? And so you're, you might be thinking that the customer is going to, well, you know what, if you don't give me the discount, well, what happens if I don't give you a discount now? That I've got all my numbers and everything planned up of exactly what I need to do to make my operations run and so I can at least make a profit and make all this thing work. And now you're going to come in at the last second and ask me for another discount? You know, if you say, you know what? No, I can't do that. I've already got all my numbers figured out. It's too late. Do you really think the customer is going to say, well, guess what? That was my plan the entire time. Now, I'm not going to hire you. I'm going to take all your free information and advice and screw you. I'm going to go hire the next guy. All right, then. Peace. Because if that was your intentions the whole time, you're not the type of customer I want to work with anyways because you're not a person of integrity. One second. Go. 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 Sorry. My dogs want to come in the garage with me and then they want out, then they want in, then they want out. Just go in the house. All right. So here's what I normally always used to do. Sometimes I would buckle because it's right on the edge of everything and I would be like, yes, yes, I'll give you that discount. And the second you give the customer a discount, you have a pit in your stomach and then you hate doing that entire job, like I said. But here's what I'm doing now. I'll call the customer back. I'll be like, you know what? I know that we were on the phone and I told you yes, 
that I would go ahead and give you that extra discount. But I really said it because I was doing it out of fear and neediness and out of desperation because I really wanted to get the job because I got a family to feed and stuff like that. Like, I don't even know why I said yes to that. And I said it because I allowed myself to feel pressured. And I don't normally talk like this to customers, but like, I've already got all my numbers figured out and stuff like that. So I, I can't do it for anything less. And I might not be the right contractor for you. I might not be the right guy for you anymore. It's like the sick, vindictive side of me that comes out. This weird sense of righteousness that's like, why don't I come in at the last second and say, you know, I had all this figured out and we had this deal, right? But now that I've got all your time invested, <laughs> I'm gonna have to raise the price an extra 10% on you. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I can't move any forward any further. And I know you're gonna hate me during the entire job, Mr. Customer, and you're gonna be looking out the window angry, and you're gonna feel Oh, I, I didn't know you were shooting a video. What's up? The jello's ready. Oh, the jello. The jello's ready. With fruits in it. With fruit in it. Where's baby? She's there. Can I please make my video, woman? <laughs> now listen. So imagine doing that, calling up your customers, every single one of them. You know, I said I was gonna do it for <laughs> for this much. <laughs> now that I got your time invested, I'm gonna have to raise the price on the last second. Cause I don't care about you. I only care about me. I don't care about you. I care about me. Nobody else is important in this world. Just me. <laughs> and I don't care how you feel. So, you go through this process enough and you just run around being everybody's little bitch. I'm just gonna be everybody's little bitch for the next 20 years. The next 20 years. You think contractors don't get taken advantage of. Oh man. And there's another thing, there's this amazing book, The 48 Laws of Power. It's like law number 22, beware of the free gift. If the customer comes out of their house and they try to bring you sandwiches and beef jerky, I even made you some lemonade, lemonade. I put it on the table for you guys. Free gift. Aren't you gonna take a bite? Oh, come on, you know, I left a little, little chocolate for you and little mints too. <laughs> Sometimes there are people in this world who are really actually loving, caring, giving, compassionate people who lo just love, love people. There's a lot of people like that. But sometimes, 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 you better watch out for the free gift because you know it's going to happen a few hours later. This is what's gonna happen. Excuse me, Mr. Contractor. I was wondering. You know, I was looking out the window and I saw that branch up there. And I know it's not part of the job, but I was wondering, since you're here anyways, why don't you just go ahead and get the pole pruner and get that branch down for me? <laughs> Remember those sandwiches I gave you? Kalfus is losing it, folks. Listen. I was doing some thinking. I love making these videos. I love being myself. I fucking got this channel to where it is by being 
myself. Crazy, silly ass, goofy ass, funny ass Keith Kelfus. The Keith Kelfus that everybody loved. What happened to Keith Kelfus? You know why? I started giving a shit what everybody thinks. There are people on YouTube that dedicate their entire channels to doing destructive things. And these people are getting millions of views. And, and my opinion, from a higher level perspective, some of these people don't deserve any respect at all. You're dedicating your channel to negative stuff. And I can't act funny on my videos because I'm afraid a customer might see it. What if one of your customers sees that? What are they going to do? Not hire you, Kelfus? It's going to ruin your reputation. What if... What if one of these companies sees it that could... Maybe they won't send you the free Christmas tree with the light bulbs in it. Or a free pair of safety glasses. Maybe they won't even give you a brand deal, Kelfish, because you said the F word. Oh, I'm sick of... Sick of it. I'm me, folks. The question is, who are you?